Hi Pisces, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you're doing well here as we greet the winter solstice uh, in the Northern Hemisphere. So, um, you know, here comes winter and all the hibernation and kind of uh, maybe time to soul search during the colder weather. Okay, so we have the Six of Swords, we have the King of Wands, and we have the Seven of Pentacles. So the Six of, six of Swords, we see the woman here with the child in a small boat and the oarsman is helping her. He's providing support to her. And in the direction that they're headed, it looks like they're leaving rough waters here to smoother waters ahead. So the Six of Swords is a card of transition. It's a card of movement. It's a card of trying to find some peace, trying to find some serenity for whatever reasons, maybe temporarily, there's something that isn't quite working out that you feel uh, that it's important for you to leave and to leave that behind. And so here you get the assistance, you get the help to um, help you move into a better place or to move on to a better place. And again, uh, you know, we always have these times in our lives when things are really challenging and sometimes we have to, we simply have to leave it behind and we have to move on. So I often use this example, but I think it's very appropriate in that, you know, in daily life we have many situations that cause us stress, that cause us worry, that bum us out or make us angry. And so if you're in a position where perhaps you're working with someone who is mean-spirited or whatever it may be, you know, maybe this transition here could be asking for a transfer from your team or from this particular office, you know, whatever it may be. You're finding a way and you're creating a way for yourself to get some perhaps sanity back and some peace and you know the six of swords here you are moving it out with the six of swords you know maybe it's a temporary uh, removal from a situation maybe it leads to something that is more permanent but it's certainly taking action and the action is interesting here, having the King of Wands right here, looking in this direction. As if he's saying, you need, it's time to go. Time for you, I'm gonna send out my man to help you get to this different location. It's gonna be a better place for you. Better opportunities, better chance for, you know, peace of mind. So the King of Wands, is uh, charismatic, he's intelligent, he's smart, capable, and charismatic. I don't know if I just said that. Did I say that? I could have said that. <laughs> he is, uh, you know, he's charming, but charming with respect to working with people. So whether this is someone that you work with or that you have in your life, or these are uh, it's a nod to you to bring out the social aspect, to work the room, to network, to get in touch with people, to get things moving, to get things started. The King of Wands is about power, personal power, and confidence, and ambition, and drive. And so you see you see that carrot out there and you're going to go chase it and you you want it you want to experience life uh, the king in this position he has mastered this way of living which is doing things that speak to his passions things that speak to his enthusiasms that are stimulating that are entertaining and he's made a life and a he rules 
with this in mind. So taking action, taking the concrete steps, building the network, making the calls, getting involved and seeing what you want and then going out there and getting it, that's how you take your own personal power and you make it work for you. So through drive, through using your wits, using your intelligence and your charm of to create the path that you want to you know, walk down. So with this King of Wands personal power, we have the Seven of Pentacles. In the Seven of Pentacles, we see the man here leaning on his garden tool. He may be daydreaming. He may be taking a break, taking a rest from the hard work. Because we know with this Seven of Pentacles that in order to get those beautiful coins on that little tree, that it takes focus, it takes uh, energy put out, and it takes, uh, you know, that you're working toward a goal. You've been working toward something. And you were taking a step back. Sometimes we take a step back to assess how we're doing. Sometimes we take a step back to say, man, I'm really tired. I'm exhausted. When is this going to finish? When am I going to be done? But the Seven of Pentacles would tell you to continue on, that you're close. And maybe you simply need a break. Maybe you need to take, maybe this is a vacation card or a couple of days off. You know, this is about uh, taking a small break. You know, you're not, you're, he's not working at that particular moment. He's kind of looking at things. He may be thinking about things. He may be thinking about his process as he goes back into tending to and taking care of this, this tree or this bush. But it's, it's perhaps a reminder that pacing yourself and understanding that sometimes there's the time when, when the fruit is ripe. There's a time when you maybe pull off the fruit before it's too ripe and then it's kind of worthless at market. You want to get it just at the right moment in order to, uh, you know, sell your wares. So timing. Here you get a sense of if you need to take a break, take a step back, take a break. Think about what you're doing. Maybe that's a refresh for you. Maybe it's a reset in how you're thinking, but then you get back into it. You get back with the energy, the focus, and the work that it takes in order to grow the security and the resources here in front of you with the Seven of Pentacles. So we get a sense of power. We get a sense of movement, of travel. You know, on a literal level, maybe some of you are traveling in the next few days or some of you are traveling by boat. But there's certainly an element here of removing yourself from a situation that doesn't serve you or that's driving you batty. And you need to, uh, you either need to make a clean break and move on or you need time away from that situation in order to, again, put yourself in a different perspective, perhaps, that if you go back or, you know, uh, if, if you decide to stay, you, you stay, you get yourself out of the, out of what's been causing woe or stress. So it's interesting with this action here, you're in charge. You're in charge of what you have to do in order to find some peace. You're in charge of your life, your projects, your relationships, and the amount of energy that you decide to put into things and your patience level in order to wait for the reward. So interesting cards. Number wise, what do we have? We have six, seven, 
and uh, 7 and 7 is 14. 14 reduces to 5. 5 is about challenges. It can be about uh, having to adapt, to be flexible. It can be a new cycle. It can be a sense of having to make an adjustment. And then finally, let's choose an oracle card for an affirmation for the day. Creative writing. Make time to write down your thoughts in a journal or pen, an article, or book. Well, the power of writing your thoughts down, and particularly if it's the passions that you have or the desires that you have, to write things down builds that muscle memory. It builds the auto-suggestion. And those affirmations uh, be become your beliefs. So it's important if you're just writing things to get out of your head, to get things down, and particularly what you want to build, what you want to manifest. If you're writing creatively for fun, you know, let your mind go, flow. Let it go and <laughs> just stream of consciousness. You know, that's always uh, very cathartic to do. So whether it's creative writing, or whether it's writing that satisfies your heart and what you're hoping to accomplish. I think both are equally as important. So my friends, this is what I have for you for the day. I hope that you found something helpful here with this reading. If you did, please subscribe if you haven't already. Like this video, share this video, comment below. And I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.